Boston, Massachusetts, Washington, D.C., and Orlando, Florida. Why in the actual world would I be mentioning these three states in common? Well, the answer is obviously pretty simple. Airport. Hold up a second. TD Garden isn't an airport. Go back. There we go. Much better. Anyways, for those who are patient, come along on our ride as we hop on a plane towards DC Reagan and eventually Orlando, Florida. We did it. We shall On August 15th, 2024, very late at night, I began packing my stuff. My camera, my clothes, my stand camera, basically everything I need on the trip. Because we are leaving very early in the morning on August 16th, 2024. And then the day came, August 16th, 2024. It is 4.44 a.m. on August 16th, and I have everything ready for the trip. And now, on the way to the airport we go. My surprise to when I got outside at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. around this point was not that surprising because I usually like the night. So, night boy, here we go. And now, on the way to the airport we go. But, hold up a second. Where are we heading? Well, it's pretty obvious. Boston Logan International Airport. You can kind of see a bit of the Blue Line train over there because it is morning rush hour. Let's go, Blue Line. Get to work. And we have made it to Boston Logan International Airport. Well, only two minutes away from arriving. And for those who are wondering what airline we're going on, well, we're on American Airlines. Because obviously, American Airlines is just more better for me. I've seen it more common and much better. So, American Airlines it is. Once we arrived and checked in, I decided to check the leaderboard and see how many flights were already taken off or departed. Only a few were already departed, except for a flight to Columbus, Ohio, which was canceled. And so far, everything else was overall just regular, you know? Not that many flights because we're leaving very early, of course. And oh, would you look at that? We already found my flight. That is to Washington, D.C. Reagan. Flight number 1413. Hmm. Seems like we're at gate B19. Let's go there. But first, I need a breakfast because I haven't had any since I woke up. And oh, would you look at that? There are some flights and planes over here. But wait a second. This is United Airlines flights that are laying over or preparing for takeoff. Seems like one of them is charging right now, which you can see on the screen. Seems like i never seen a plane actually charge. So yeah. And there are some other flights that are also laying over or preparing for takeoff. But I never saw any sign of them actually taking off. So most likely, these three are already laying over. And some more other perspectives around these United Airlines planes. It seems like I have to go at one point because I heard that my friend has already went on these. And they are a really good airline. So... It seems like I might have to go in the future. And we stopped by a local Dunkin' Donuts. And I really love the sign. Boston runs on Dunkin'. Definitely one sign I will not forget. But also not true because Dunkin' Donuts is a company. So not the airport unfortunately Boston. 
Once I got my breakfast, I headed back to gate B19 and some other views around the airline, United. And then the plane that we were going to board was already at the gate preparing. And it seems like the flight of this is most likely an Airbus. That's our flight. Washington, I'm coming towards you guys. But then I saw that our flight was leaving in around 5 to 10 minutes. So I had to quickly eat my breakfast and get on board the plane as soon as possible. But hang up you all. Do you all see that flight at the bottom in the sign that says Flight AA-2196 to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Well, that flight was redirected to another gate, which was now at B-21. Which, in fact, that flight was actually at B-19, first of all. But then, our flight came in. Man, Philadelphia passengers. Very sorry that happened, but it happens. But after I ate breakfast and got on board the plane, I soon found out the model of the plane. This model is actually an Airbus 319 EOW. I don't know what the EOW stands for, but I do know that this is an Airbus 319, which is a lot older. Shh, but you can see the other flight over there. But then the bump came, and now our flight is leaving. Goodbye Boston Logan International Airport. Now let's head off to the taxiway, runway, and then take off. Let's go. But then some ground traffic came around because there was already a flight already on the runway taking off, which you can see, and there's a Delta flight in front of us, and then we were next. But this usually only happens for like around 5 or 10 minutes, but this time it took only around 3 minutes. So, let's speed it up a little bit. And now we are ready for takeoff. Takeoff flight number 1413 American Airlines to DC. everyone we took off from boston massachusetts now on the way to dc here we go and usually on planes you get to choose whatever snack you have well this time they gave me a biscoff biscuit and I got my option as a water with ice. Because why not? Ice is my favorite. Okay, I think I'm seeing DC right now. Let's just keep sink down there as DC. As you can see, I thought I was seeing DC in land right now, but however it was a different state I was seeing actually. We are landing in DC now. The flight attendant then soon announced to us that we were landing in DC very shortly, which I was already in hope and excitement. We are soon landing in DC. Soon enough later, I saw a land. Equals that we are now either in Maryland or in DC officially. We are now landing in DC. Soon enough later, I saw land even more which began the landing process.
We started descending even more further into the ground while taking turns left and right towards the airport and eventually the runway. But then only a few minutes later, we landed. Welcome to Washington DC, everyone. Once the airplane had slowed down, we headed off the runway into the taxiway, and now we are heading towards our gate. From here, you can see other airlines such as Southwest Airlines, even the front of the airport and United Airlines. Wait, what's that over there? Out of nowhere breaking the silence came the WMATA's Washington Metro Trains Blue and Yellow Line services. Even though the Blue and Yellow Line services stop here in the Washington National Airport station in the airport, it's pretty cool seeing them outside when you're in the airplane. Pretty cool. But after a few minutes of the plane not moving, we got moving again. You can also see Alaska Airlines, Delta Airlines, JetBlue Airlines, and American Airlines. And that's our gate right there, C-33. That person right there in the bottom is the one who's going to be guiding the pilot towards our gate. We ended up staying here for a few minutes because the gate wasn't even ready and they told us through the announcements, so we had to wait for a little longer. I already wanted to go into the gate because I was already bored and didn't know what to do. Luckily, I was listening to some music and staring at the American Airlines sign. That sign is just one that's just so precious. After waiting for a few minutes, the pilot got the all clear from the signal man to proceed into the gate. We are finally entering the airport of DC. Morning, 
And you can also find a similar airline like American Airlines called American Eagle. I have to go on that airline at some point. But I never thought the second we looked back on the taxiway where we came was three aircrafts behind us waiting for us to clear the pathway. Jesus, we were definitely holding up traffic. And the first aircraft behind us was an American Eagle flight and two big flights of American Airlines and one big flight from Delta. Jesus, we were definitely holding up traffic this time. We just made our final halt and stop, and now we are getting ready to deboard the plane. Goodbye American flight number 1413 or Airbus 319, and welcome everyone to DC. And every time I get off a plane or an airline flight, I usually check the plane's next destination or if the plane's laying over. And this plane that we just got off, the Airbus 319, is now flight number 2039 or 2139 to Charlotte, North Carolina. I have to visit Charlotte at some point. After taking a quick bathroom break, I only had an hour to visit the airport. So here's a quick turnaround of the airport. We made it guys. DC. Right here we are, DC. DC. I'm only here for like only an hour. And then Orlando. Yes. And then it was time for us to walk again towards our gate. And there is our flight, American flight number 1372 to Orlando. Hang on a second, it was D45 at the gate. Now what happened? Turns out it was redirected four gates behind. So now we're at D41. Jesus, it always redirects us no matter what. And there's our flight on the PSA, Orlando, Florida. And it boards in around 10 minutes. Hmm. Hold up, but what aircraft are we going on, is the question. And it is none other than the Boeing 737 we are going on. A classic one. So we boarded flight number 1372, and just look at this interior. Look at that sign, 737, on the menu. And just look at this wing. It's just insane. I had the best seat ever, because even though this aircraft is old, and been around since like the 1900s or 1950s, it's still pretty cool seeing that these are the most common on American Airlines. Mmm. I might just want to fly at 7 30. Anyways, let's get on to the taxiway and head over to Orlando, Florida. Here we go. Or masking or helping others. Oxygen is flowing even if the bag does not inflate. And now we are officially ready to leave DC, but after this United flight gets out of our way. After a few minutes, the plane all of a sudden stopped due to traffic in the area. And there was another American Airlines that was literally beside us, which you can see right there, which is the tail, is actually going ahead of us. And there's another American Airlines on the runway, so we definitely were holding up traffic this time. But it wasn't us that was causing the traffic now. It was other planes that were leaving D.C. at the time. After a few minutes, the plane finally got moving again once the other American Airlines flight was started moving towards the runway after the other American Airlines flight had already took off. Definitely a little bit of a wait.
definitely a little bit of chaos on the plane. American Eagle flight, but uh, we are now going to be taking off, I believe, after this plane. I'm not sure. After a few minutes, the plane that was on the runway finally took off and we had clearance now to proceed onto the runway. Let's go! And now we are ready to go. Take off flight number 1372 to Orlando. We did it guys, we took off from Washington DC and now on the way to our destination, Orlando, Florida. Here we go. And like the previous flight from Boston to DC, the flight attendants give snacks to everyone. And I got the same as a Biscoff biscuit and an apple cheese with some ice. The classic as usual. We are close to arriving in Orlando, Florida. Only one hour and 30 minutes into the flight, I saw land, which means that now we are in the state of Florida, which I believe we are passing by Jacksonville, Florida right now. Although I could be wrong. You guys can correct me in the comments below if you know what city this is. Around 15 minutes later, we began the landing process. We are so close to entering the city that I have been waiting for. After three minutes, we landed. Welcome everyone to the city of Orlando, where I will be spending one week in the city. Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is turned off and keep the aisles clear of all carry-on items. Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items like tablets and cell phones. When you open the overhead compartment, be careful as items may have moved in flight. And thank you for choosing American Airlines. <laughs> Once upon touching down, we began making our way towards our gate. But before that, we had another airline plane coming into Orlando at the exact same time that we landed, which is a Copa Airline flight. Copa Airlines has landed. Once that other plane has landed, we began making our way off the runway towards our taxiway. And let me tell you, this taxiway was very long. And I mean it, it was real long. Let me speed up the video just a little bit so you can see how long of a taxiway this was.
Wait, slow down the video. Do you see those tracks over there, guys? Well, guess what? That's actually Brightline Service. Brightline Service is the new high-speed line between Miami and West Palm Beach. And when I expected Brightline to be in Orlando, I did not mean it to be right in front of the airport. So that was a shocking thing. Anyways, just a quick heads up for you all. After five whole minutes of being on that taxiway, we made a right turn finally and started heading towards our gate. And if you guys look closely in front of you all, if you all see some planes over there, well those are actually cargo flights. Those are cargo planes that head over to different states to drop off cargo. And I was able to see a few of them in the distance. I wasn't sure if this was a Boeing 747, but it looked pretty close to it. And I even caught a plane taking off from the other runway. I think the airline is United, although I am not sure. And I even saw some UPS flights over there in the cargo area, although I will zoom into that later once I get close to them. Do you all see that plane over there? Well guess what, that is actually a national cargo flight, which is a Boeing 747-400BCF. I wasn't paying attention to the plane until I eventually saw it. Take a look at my reaction. I think that's a Boeing 747. Yeah, I think that is, yeah, it is in cargo. Mm. And from my perspective, I thought I saw another Boeing 747 in the UPS flights. However, it was an MD-11F I was actually seeing. Not this one, the other one right there, yeah. This one. That's just almost, I think that, yo, I, I think that is, yeah. They're big. Cargo's are usually big, but not like the actual thing. And when I said that the cargo flights are big, they are massive, especially the Boeing 747-400 BCF. And the MD-11F is typically UPS's biggest fleet, however, they also have Boeing 747s, but I didn't see one. So, let me tell you, try and find a Boeing 747 while you can before they're eventually gone. And guys, definitely get the MD-11S before they're eventually gone because UPS has started to retire them by 2023 and the last one will be gone by 2028. So please guys, get the MD-11S before they're eventually gone forever. Anyways, back to the video. Before we made our final turn towards our gate, I saw another airline called Sun Country Airlines. Whoever has flew or been on this airline, please let me know in the comments below. Anyways, here we are, arriving at our gate. Who knows? Here we are, we have arrived at our gate. As you can see, I am just tired and excited at the exact same time because we left at around 5 a.m. from Boston and we arrived at around 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon. And I was already begging to go to our Airbnb because I was definitely tired after I got off the plane. And we have made it. Welcome everyone to Orlando, Florida. And the same thing I did back in DC, I check whether the plane is laying over or going somewhere else. And this flight that we just got off, which was 1372 on a Boeing 737, is now flight number 1780 to Miami, Florida. I have to go to Miami at one point to see the good man. Anyways, after we got our luggage, we started heading towards the rental car section in the airport to get our rental car, which we will be borrowing for one week while we are on this trip. Once we got our rental car, we hit the road heading towards our Airbnb. And that is the end for episode 1 of the trip to Orlando. We flew from state to state and it was definitely one tiring experience. Join us in episode 2 where we head to the first out of the three amusement parks we had planned on this trip.
which is Epcot Theme Park in Walt Disney World. And a park that has a sphere glowing up in the evening that I want to see again when I go back to Orlando in the future.